so I won't really delve into them. Uh, cost of living then, and the uh, first item to say about cost of living is that uh, Article 43 of the Constitution places a duty on the state to deliver on the rights and uh, the social and economic rights under Article 43 uh, to the highest attainable standards. You will find uh, on close examination that the issues of cost of living are in fact contained um, within uh, Article 43. So three broad points we'll address very quickly on the uh, cost of living. And those three points are what drives cost of living. Um, and those things are the management of exchange rate, uh, the management of uh, public finances, as well as the mix uh, that, uh, is, uh, that is used to manage uh, those uh, instruments. On the question of, on the question of uh, exchange rate, I think what you will uh, see on the slide before you is what has happened in the last 12 months. That the Kenya shilling has collapsed from 120 shillings to a dollar to 150 shillings to uh, one US dollar. The effect of it, of that 25% depreciation of the shilling, uh, that is transmitted directly into the cost of living. So that everything that you are buying this year, this August or this October, is 25% more expensive than it was last year, simply because of the effect of the um, exchange rate. Of course, the committee will want to address itself what drives exchange rate. You have had some of it already here from FKE. Portfolio flows, meaning the monies that foreigners come to invest in our stock exchange. And what has happened is that the um, uh, uh, foreigners have left. That's why the stock exchange is at its lowest point, and I'll show you a slide to that effect in just a moment. Now, I've told, uh, we've said to the committee, management of public finances as a key driver of the cost of living questions. Why? Because uh, taxation and borrowing have a direct bearing on what happens to the citizen, and we'll show you a couple of slides uh, on that. Where we are, if you on the outlook, is that we expect, when I say we expect, these are the policies and instruments that um, have been placed already in Parliament, for example, the uh, budget policy statement and the midterm expenditure framework. What does it call for? It calls for increased taxation. So next year, taxes are expected to go up 400 billion. It calls for continued borrowing, and I'll show you a slide in a moment, that um, the budget deficit is in the order of 760 billion, and that is expected, that is what is planned. Both things imply that we, uh, it is not possible to bring the cost of living under control. Third point to make, um, experts agree we are in dire possibility, uh, we are in debt distress and the risk of debt default is looming and uh, all those things show that in fact um, we are on a terrible trajectory. Is it only against the dollar that um, the shilling is losing ground. Uh, that's a chart that shows you what has happened to the shilling in relation to the Tanzanian shilling. Uh, if you just go back to the slide, what you'll notice, uh, we're moving uh, from, uh, uh, again, a similar kind of depreciation of the shil Kenya shilling against Tanzania. So that the argument that this is a global problem is not exactly global for every, uh, for <laughs> what individual countries are doing um, has a lot to uh, explain the cost of living for their citizens. Um, now, management of public 